Good morning from The Hog. We've left the house now, so we're all prepared. We're like, ta-da! It's about 10, 11 o'clock now. And then we're walking to the tram, and then we're gonna get the tram to Central Station. Then from Central Station, we're gonna go to Amsterdam. We really wanna go to the Anne Frank house. I've always wanted to go there as a kid. So yeah, we're back at Central Station. I'm making our way to Amsterdam. Ooh. Race you guys down, taking the steps. <laughs> uh, oh. I win, that's a shame. Losers. We're running for our train because we are about two minutes late, right? We're on the train. We literally got that by a whisker. That's <laughs> fine. So welcome to Amsterdam. This is the train station. And as you can see, they are all bikes. Welcome, welcome. thank you, thank you. And all the bikes over there and up there and down there and more that I can't believe this. <laughs> it's a lot busier than the Hague, but it looks absolutely lovely. First canals. Look at that nice little boat as well. Little alleyways. Do you want to hear a joke? I've already told Maria it, but where are all hamsters from? Go and have a think about it. They're from Amsterdam. <laughs> this is the start of the red light district. This is an erotic nightclub. Right over there is a uh, Brothel, I guess, and then right there they have a bar. But yeah, red light district basically just stretches over a few streets, alleys. This is oh the red God. light souvenir, <laughs> just so you can see. Uh, yep, <laughs> people live in the apartments there, and then well, from the window there, you're looking over at that. I don't know, I don't know what to expect, if I'm honest. I wasn't expecting it to be as accepted, I guess. The Bulldog Cafe, let's go check it out. They literally have a TV screen in there. And then all the weed you want, all different strengths. You get your space cakes and whatever. So if you're into it, then yeah, you'll like it. And if not, then not really your scene. We're looking for food now anyway, because I'm starving. Still haven't eaten yet. It's about 12 o'clock now. So we're getting cheese samples at the moment. Italians and all that. Cheers. <laughs> but anyway, we're walking to Uptown, we're going to see Anne Frank. There are so many tourists, literally so many. Me being one of them. Very busy, I like it. Oh, look at that for a ride. <laughs> this is the start of the famous Anne Frank queue. That over there is the queue and then it goes around the corner. That's the canal down there and it just keeps going and going and going and going. Around the corner. <laughs> And in the meantime, to kill some time, we've now gone to the Palitza. I'm, I'm not pronouncing that right. So if you know the Oceans trilogy, so Oceans 11, 12, 13. I think it's the second movie, so Oceans 12. They filmed part of it in this very hotel. Apparently it's got bullet holes still in the wall from the movie set. Look who I find sitting diggity in the two chairs. The butt. <laughs> That's probably a scared face. It's really lovely actually. So if any of you recognize it from the movies, ta-da! We're walking back to Anne Frank now, but we're getting in at 3.15, so if you miss your time slot, you, you literally miss it. So We're not allowed to film in here, so I'll be filming again when I'm outside. The Anne Frank house is just back down there, absolutely amazingly re redone. I'm so happy I've got to see it, because I've been wanting to see that so many years. In terms of a family, I mean, <laughs> what amazing people. They start out telling you about her life, about the family's life, and it's also got the only known footage of Anne on film at a family wedding video and then they show you around the, the old house there's no furniture in there but there's old pictures in there showing you what it would have looked like back then it, it's just really a lovely experience to see what she achieved after with her diary and everything it's been made into over 70 different languages I recommend anyone to go see it bum 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 ba -dum, bum ba -dum. Darth Vader and whoever that is on the left the stormtrooper but <laughs> <laughs> I'm your father. No! No! Say what? <laughs> oh God, I need to get some fun. <laughs> More cute little streets. A lot of cheese wheels. Wow. So this down here now is the gay nightclub area. 
and it's like the gay quarter back in Birmingham when I've been there. We went to Gay Pride uh, last year in May, but it was fantastic. So when, when we're back here properly, we have more time. We will definitely be coming out here. And I'm in Rembrandt Square right now, which is sort of like a, an arty area. Named after the Rembrandt painter, and there's a tribute statue to him up there. And there's people just selling their arts and crafts, some paintings which look absolutely amazing. That's the Red Brandt Square Hotel. But yeah, it's re really lovely right now. With my Turkish pizza in tow. Imagine a pizza base, it's got cheese on it, it's got some salad, and they wrap it and they call it a Turkish pizza. So yeah, it tastes really good. So welcome to the, what's it called, the Rijks Museum, yes. It's very actually lovely building. It's got a lot of art in there. Who's there any main artists in there we should know about? Uh, we're not actually going inside, but we're doing the next best thing, which is walking through it, well, underneath it, <laughs> through the gates. <gasps> oh, we see the Amsterdam sign down there. Mm -hmm. So there's the sign. Amsterdam sign. So anyway, we're going to a park now. Yay. 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 There's so many people there. You take taking a picture, they just say, mm, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stand in the way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we're at Vandal Park now, I do believe. You start walking and then you realize, oh, I'm actually walking on a bike path. In The Hague, they're more likely to stop for you. In Amsterdam, they just go, wow, they just bullet past. They do not stop for anybody. Save it. left the park now walking back towards the train station we might get some food on the way we're just sort of deliberating what to get yeah so we're at a Chinese restaurant now I've had one ton soup which is fantastic you gonna have a bit of soy sauce and then just chicken and rice because I could have had a better main but I wanted a soup as well this is so cool look at all this no nah, I'm not be going on that there's a ride like that in Dallas and it's 400 foot. That's probably double the size of that, if not more. We've now gone to a sex museum, I guess. <laughs> the history of sex throughout the centuries. We saw it on a blog and one well, of the most random things to do in Amsterdam. We have uh, just left the sex museum. In a nutshell, that was very interesting is the word. It's an experience, that's the best way of putting it. And now we're catching the train back to the Hague. Where's the train? Oh, why have you got to run? It's all the way down there. I'm running! We're on the train. We have got a 15 minute wait in Leiden Central. I'll definitely come back to Amsterdam for sure. Lovely buildings, lovely people. There's quite a lot of history going on in certain museums as well. Could be museums I'd like to go back to and there's something there for everyone. Apart from Red Light District isn't my thing. So yeah, I've really loved Amsterdam. I definitely recommend it. So we're back in the house now. I am going to bed because I'm very tired. Good night and we'll go on another adventure tomorrow. Oh, <laughs>